Hey, this is Mrs. Gooding. Welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast, Lesson 3-4, Multiplying by One Digit Numbers and Using the Digital Root Checking Strategy. Those are both really important parts of this lesson. Our quote today is by Friedrich Nietzsche. It's a little bit silly, but it talks about multiplying and it talks about adding zeros when you multiply. So that's kind of like the mental math strategy that we were using. So read that and have some fun with it and have some fun checking out that guy's mustache. That's Friedrich right there. Our learning goal is to multiply multi-digit numbers by a one-digit number and check using the digital root checking strategy. Just like it was critical that we check our addition and subtraction using the opposite operation, I will expect you to use the digital root checking strategy to check your multiplication. So here are our learning goals. Make sure you read through them and check them off as you learn them. You'll be really excited to check off the last one, which is learning the digital root checking strategy. Here's an example. We'll work this problem. 5 times 347. The first step to multiplying this number is to make sure we write it with the larger number on top. So we're going to write 347 vertically with the 5 and line it up. Both of those numbers are in the ones place. Now, when we multiply, we always start with the number in the ones place and multiply straight above it. So 5 times 7 is 35 and we'll carry 30 over here. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. 5 times 3 is 15, 16, 17. Now, the digital root part, the digital root checking part is what is so much fun. Nobody knows how to do this, but you will know how. You will be able to impress your parents and your friends and your future teachers. Digital root means every number that you have has a digital root. So when you add the numbers up in that first number, 347, you add 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 7 is 14. Now in digital root, you always have to have it down to a single digit. So I have two digits here. I have to add them together to get a single digit. 1 plus 4 is 5. So the digital root for 347 is 5. Now, this is already down to a single digit, so we don't have to do anything here. We just rewrite it over here. And we come over here, whatever symbol we have here, that's what we're going to do over here. 5 times 5 is 25. Uh-oh, we've got two digits, so we have to add them again. 2 plus 5 is 7. So 7 is our magic number. Now we're going to add the number in our answer. If we got it correct, we're going to have the same digital root in our answer that we have when we multiply our two factors. So 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, and 11 plus 5 is 16. Uh-oh, that's a two-digit number, so I'll add them together. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 is my magic number. I'm going to connect those. That makes it look like a barbell. There's strength in checking your work because you've got the power of knowing that your problem's already correct. The only time that digital root checking doesn't work is if you mix up these two numbers. Maybe you switch the order. Then your sum is still going to be the same for all of those numbers. But in general, it will catch any mistakes that you make. Okay, now we're going to do some practice. Now we're going to have to take this kind of slowly. I realize you didn't learn in one try how to do digital root checking. But you've already had single digit multiplication last year in fourth grade. So let's go ahead and make sure you try the multiplication and then maybe go back and review and see, watch how you did the digital root checking and try to do that too. Go ahead and multiply and try to check 62 times 7. Pause it until you've finished and then start it again. Did you get 434? Was your magic number 2? Let's try that and see how we did it. I went ahead and wrote my numbers vertically, so now we can go ahead and start multiplying. Remember, we always start with the number on the bottom in the ones place. 7 times 2 is 14. Put your 4 straight down and carry your 1. Now, if I looked at these, they're still in the same order. The 1 still comes before the 4 because the 1 is in the tens place and the 4 is in the ones place. 1, okay, so now we're going to multiply this. 
Seven times six is 42, plus one is 43. Did I get it right? Let's check it and see. I'll add together the numbers on the top first. Six plus two equals eight. That's already a single digit, so we're done with that one. Now our seven is already a single digit, so we'll write that right underneath. There's our symbol that we know we're using multiplication. Seven times eight is 56. We'll add those together because we can't have two digits. Five plus six is 11. We still have two digits, but we can still add them together. One plus one is two. Two is my magic number. That'll help us to remember to do that every time. Now we'll add the numbers in our product. Four plus three is seven. Seven plus four is 11. Hmm, we can't have a two digit number, so we'll add them together. One plus one is two. Two is our magic number. Make sure you correct them so that they look like barbells. That's a sign of strength when you know you got your problem correct. Now multiply and check 438 times three. Go ahead and pause till you've had time to do it carefully. You can always refer back to the previous work on the previous problem. Then push play and see how you did. Did you get 1,314? Was your magic number nine? Let's see how we did that one. Okay, so in multiplying 438 times three, we'll start in the ones place again. Three times eight is 24. Carry my two. Three times three is nine, plus two is 11. Carry my one. Three times four is 12, plus one is 13. It's kind of like a fan the way it does, isn't it? We, add, we multiply this, then we multiply this, and then we multiply this. We could keep going and multiply really big numbers too. Let's do our digital root checking though, just to make sure we got our problem correct before we turn it in. Four plus three is seven. Seven plus eight is 15. Am I done? No way, that's a two digit number. We can't have a two digit number. One plus five is six. Now, this is already a single digit, so we'll just move it over here. And our multiplication symbol, right here. Six times three is 18. Ah, we can't have a two digit number. One plus eight is nine. Nine is our magic number. So now we'll come back here and add all of the numbers in our product. One plus three is four, four plus one is five, and five plus four is nine. Nine is our magic number. We did it. We checked it, we got it right. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Here's our last problem. Multiply and check 921 times eight. Go ahead again, pause, and push play when you're ready. Did you get 7,368? Was your magic number six? Let's see how we did it. Remember, begin multiplying in the ones place. Eight times one is eight. Eight times two is 16. Put my six down here and carry my one. Eight times nine is 72 plus one is 73. Oops, 73, that's a sloppy three. Okay, let's do our digital root checking to make sure we got it correct. 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 1 is 12. That's right, you can't have a two-digit number. 1 plus 2 is 3. Now that's not my magic number, that's just the digital root of 921. Then we'll move across the digital root of 8, which is 8. There's our multiplication symbol. 8 times 3 is 24. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 is our magic number. We're gonna do that every time. It'll just help remind you to do it. Seven plus three is 10. 10 plus six is 16. And 16 plus eight is 24. 
Again, we'll add our two digit number up. Two plus four is six. Six is our magic number. And there's our power bar to prove it. It's time to challenge yourself. Mrs. Gooding set a world record by holding nine eggs in each of her hands. Each egg weighed 56,124 milligrams. What was the total weight of all of the eggs? Have some fun multiplying that, and then have some fun using digital root to check. Show off to your friends. It's really a cool thing. Check your answer tomorrow at school. Finishing up again. You may need to go back and watch the digital root checking one more time, or two more times, or three more times. Digital root checking is completely new, but it is so much fun to use. And it really makes you feel better because you know if your multiplication problems are right before you ever turn them in. Go ahead and write down any questions you may have. Be specific. Mrs. Gooding, I didn't understand how you got this answer when you did this problem. You've completed lesson 3-4, multiply by one digit numbers and use the digital root checking strategy. I can't wait for you to come back and show me how to do that.